once again we just want to thank God for this day this is the day that the Lord has made we are meeting on this day to celebrate the unfailing love of God that is our Bible study the theme we are embarking on and today it's our fifth session let me take this opportunity to welcome you just want to thank God that I'm alive and I'm still standing in His presence. And it's not by might, nor by power. It is by His grace. And I welcome you as we begin this session with the word of prayer. Almighty God, in the name of Jesus, we just want to thank you for your unfailing love. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you that you have never failed us before. Thank you that you walk with us. In every situation, you have never departed from us. And right now, we thank you and we acknowledge your presence in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, today we're going to focus on 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34. That is the verse that our focus point will be based on in terms of the unfailing love of God. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 34 reads, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. And based on this verse, I want us to unpack the context under which this was written so that we have a better understanding of where this thanksgiving comes from. This thanksgiving about the goodness of God and his love that endures forever. First Chronicles 16 is when the Ark of the Covenant is placed inside the tent that David had pitched this was the only place in the world where God prescribed atonement. Atonement simply means taking action to correct previous wrongdoings. It's all about an action, correcting the past and which was supposed to be made. Without the ark then, the Israelites were not able to make atonement and not able to enjoy the presence of God because the ark of God was the symbol of God's presence. And where the ark of God was, therefore, his presence was there. In other words, having the ark was a big deal. First Chronicles 16, is the climax of David's quest to bring the ark of God back to the land. The joy of having the ark back in their community leads them to sing about God's greatness. In verse 34, the Israelites are called to reflect upon and give thanks for the Lord's steadfast and enduring love. The Lord's steadfast love is His covenant keeping love. Because when God entered into a covenant relationship with His people, He promised to love them. The story behind 1 Chronicles 16 also provides a beautiful picture of God's steadfast love. For years, the Israelites seemed to care less about the location of the ark. And yet, here we have God drawing his people back to himself and making them with and meeting them with the grace and the love and accepting their sacrifices. Because they turned their back against God. And God could not take any or accept their sacrifices. This atonement 
is for the people. And the Lord has once again shown himself to be the gracious God to them in spite of their years of rebellion. Verse 34 starts with give thanks. Two of God's primary characteristics are celebrated in this verse. His goodness and his love. David says God is good. What does it mean to say God is good? It means God's essence and character are the example of goodness and righteousness. Because God is so good, we are to give thanks unto him. Why should we give thanks? Simply because we are God's creation. We should do nothing else and nothing less. We rejoice in God's goodness. We do this by giving thanks and by worshiping and praising Him. God's love endures forever. We experience his goodness because of his love that caused him to create humanity. To create humanity or to create humankind. Because of his love involved in him in the affairs of his chosen people. Because of his love that caused him to provide redemption for us through the sacrifice of his only son. Because of his love that compelled him to extend his presence to his people through the Holy Spirit because of his love that enables us to be thankful. We are thankful to God because of his love, because of his care, because God will never hold grudges against us despite our shortfalls, despite our wrongdoings, Despite our sins, God still demonstrated his unfailing love by giving us his only begotten son so that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So in other words, God wants us to live longer. And the only way to live longer is to be obedient to him and to his unfailing love. First Chronicles 16 Provide us with God's character in the midst of those of his own who chose to take a wrong path. But when they decided to come back, his hands were open like how he received the prodigal son. It's important to understand that his presence is with us through the Holy Spirit so that every day we are able to interact with him closer to us. The central response of God's people to give thanks to him through prayer, worship, and daily living it's what God expects of us. So in this text, David helps us to understand and recover the meaning of thanksgiving by focusing our attention on the purpose of God, not our lives. Remember, 
one of the ten lepers were healed by Jesus. And the Bible says, out of the ten, one came back just to give thanks unto the Lord for what God has done for him. When he came before Jesus and he bowed and expressed his gratitude, Jesus asked him, where are others? Because you are not alone when you receive your healing. And Jesus said to him, you are declared whole. You are completely restored because you understand what it takes to be thankful of what you receive. Beloved, this morning or this evening, let us give honor and glory unto God for he is good all the time. That is why 1 Chronicles chapter 16, 34 reads, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. God loves you. And stay blessed. And remain standing and covered by His grace. Almighty God, we thank you that you care about us. We thank you for your loving kindness and mercy. Even right now, Lord, as we listen to your word, continue to walk with us. Continue to open our eyes to see a bigger picture of what you have in store for us. Only when we learn to be grateful of who you are and your unfailing love. Amen. God bless you and take care. Amen.